Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today is the Totally Techniques blog hop and I love techniques, so I can't hardly wait to show you this oldie but goodie. We are going to be showing you cards made with baby wipes. And there's a bunch of different types of techniques you can do with baby wipes. I'm excited to show you a new way that I have not done before, and I think you're gonna love it. I'm also gonna give you a sneak peek at some new products that are coming out in our brand new annual catalog that goes live on Tuesday, May 4th. Woo, so excited for that. And you're gonna get a peek at the new in colors, which are so pretty. I think you're gonna love them. Let's flip the camera around and we'll get started. I am choosing to share with you this new color and contour bundle. Oh my gosh, I love watercolor images and the line art, it's a little whimsical. Love that and the fonts with these sentiments. Mm, just, they're just everything I love about this set. Color and contour, and then we also have these scalloped contour dies. And we've got some bigger scallops with some stitching. We've got some little dots that come out really pretty. And then dies to cut out this line art image flower. And then also these fun daisies. So we've got some two sub stamping going on here, some dies to cut the flowers out. And then we've got this large scallop with some stitching on it too. I should say dots. Well, which is stitching. Um, super, super pretty. I think this is going to be amazingly easy to create and design with, and I'm, I'm just really excited about it. The other thing that I wanted to share with you is a brand new in color. This is called Positively Pink. I wanted to show you the comparison with Melon Mambo. So this is a lighter pink color, and grab our flirty flamingo for a comparison too. This is a little more peachy. And then we've got one more dark pink and this is magenta madness. So you can see all three of these colors are very different. This is our brand new positively pink and we're going to be using this for our card base. Now my card base is eight and a half by five and a half. It's just a half a sheet of cardstock. I'm going to fold it and then I've got a layer of basic black. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. A piece of basic white that's three and three quarters by five. A scrap of the polished pink. I'm not sure why it's so hard for me to remember that name. And a scrap of basic white. We're also going to be decorating an envelope, so. Some of the other supplies I'm gonna use for my card is a Memento black ink pad, the small rectangular die from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. This is gonna be for our sentiment. The Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. Some brand new embellishments. These are so pretty. These are called the Silver and Clear Epoxy Essentials. These are clear and these are silver. So pretty, a beautiful accent. And all of these new ink colors have ribbon that match them. So this is the Polished Pink Open Weave Ribbon. And I've got a brand new package of baby wipes here. These are the Huggies Natural Care. Now, I have not used these before, I don't think. So I could be mistaken, but... What I was using was the Hugg Huggies Simply Clean. And I was using these because Haley, my daughter, gave them to me. She has a baby, and these didn't work well for the baby, for my little Val. So um, I've used all these up. We're going to try these natural care. I do like to buy better quality uh, wipes for my stamping studio. And the reason is, is when you buy the less expensive ones, what I have found anyways, is that you get a lot of lint off of them. They leave a lot of lint on your stamps if you're wiping your stamps off with them. And they're just, 
I don't know. I just don't like them. I don't go through enough baby wipes to make it a problem that I do choose to get the ones that are, you know, cost a little bit more. So I guess to each his own, whatever works for you. But I always like to give you those tips. Okay. So what we're going to do here is I am going to take this basic white scrap and I'm going to use this die on here to die cut that. I'm also going to take my Positively Pink and use the rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly for my sentiment layer. I'm gonna run these through my die cutting machine and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go with our layers. Now I decided I wanted to choose two different colors for this baby wipe technique. Let me just set these off to the side for a moment. So I've got my baby wipes here and I just, folded them into fourths. And now I'm gonna fold it over one more time. And I think I'll do it this way, it doesn't really matter. But I've got the polished pink. I, I was calling it positively pink. I'm sorry, it's called polished pink. Like I said, it takes a little while to get used to these. And I'm just going to take the reinker and run it along the edge here, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing here with so saffron, and I just thought these two colors would look pretty together. I tested them out already and they do look pretty together, so I can't hardly wait to show this to you. But as I was working with my scalloped layer, what I found is I wanted to take just a touch of this color off because it's a very bold color. If you're using lighter colors, I don't think it's gonna matter. So I'm just gonna pull a little bit of that off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it onto my layer and I'm just kind of waving it around, just like this, okay? You don't wanna over wipe on your basic white paper because this is wet and it does make the paper wet and you're gonna get it pilly if you overdo it. So just one good swipe. I'm gonna do the same thing with my So Saffron, just pull off a little bit of that color and I'm gonna come in and do the same thing. And you can just keep rubbing it on here until you get the intensity. Like I said, you don't wanna overdo it because it is wet and this is paper. Okay, you can hit this with your heat gun. I'm just gonna set mine aside right now. Isn't that pretty? It's just a really pretty, wispy, whimsical look, I think. And I can't wait to try this with more color combinations. Another one I was looking at was our new in color that is a purple color and then kind of a peach color. I think those two would look really pretty together too. I want to bring in a scrap piece of paper in my envelope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna decorate the flap on my envelope also because why wouldn't I? We're just gonna pull this. I'm gonna come in from the other side and get some color on here with both baby wipes. And of course, the color is just gonna continue to get lighter and lighter as you use it. So you can add more ink to it if you need to, or just keep getting lighter versions of it. And again, this is wet, so I'm gonna let this dry. We're gonna do our stamping now. I'm gonna take this polished pink, <laughs> I almost said positively pink again, and the You're Absolutely Amazing sentiment. I'm gonna stamp that, let me stand up here so I can get this straight, right on this layer, very nice. And then I am going to, um, take, let's put this away. I'm gonna take this white, basic white layer. This was a three and three quarters by five. I'm gonna run it through the embossing folder, the tasteful textile folder for a very subtle pattern. Hang tight. And here comes that layer. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Okay, we can add these two together. And then I might need to get my heat tool out depending on whether our scalloped rectangle layer that we put the baby wipe technique on is dry. So we'll see in just a second. Isn't that pretty? I love that pop of black. Ooh, this feels really good. It feels nice and dry. Like I said, you could hit it with a heat tool. That would work too. 
I'm gonna take this big flower outline stamp. I really like the style of this stamp. I think it's very neat. Let me get this black cleaned off of here so we don't make a mess. And I'm just gonna stamp this right on this layer, kind of at an angle. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this. I don't know why I can never ever find my dimensionals. Probably because I set them off to the side thinking that I didn't. <laughs> Here we go. I like to use my take your pick tool to pop those backings off. Especially if you have shorter fingernails, this really is very helpful. We're gonna set that aside. Uh, I wanna add some ribbon. So I really love this um, polished pink. I almost said positively pink again. Polished pink ribbon. So I thought what I'd do is I would just fold it over, grab some mini glue dots. You could use regular tape too if you wanted to. I'm just gonna put a mini glue dot on there and fold this over so it's folded in half just like that. And then I think using another mini glue dot on here will work really well. I'm gonna put this on the back of my layer with just a little bit sticking out the side like that. I just thought that was kind of a neat little embellishment. Doesn't take a lot of extra effort, but I think it's going to add some pizzazz to my card. Again with the glue dot, meet them together. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. I am excited. To, tomorrow actually is my stepdaughter Anna's birthday. And um, my other stepdaughter is driving in from out of town. She lives about 40 minutes away. And we are going to go get pedicures. And then we're going to um, go to lunch today. So uh, you'll be seeing this video after I've done all that. And then we might do a little bit of shopping. So it was Anna's request. It's her birthday. It was her request that we do this. And I thought, oh, sounds like a blast. And unfortunately, my daughter Haley can't make it because she has to work. She's a teacher and she's got work today. So doggone it. Okay, we're gonna put this right here. Now, I thought the perfect little embellishment for this would be these silver epoxy essentials. So, we're gonna pop a few of these on here. Now, you get teardrops, you get diamonds, whoops, let's get that off of there, diamonds and then circles. So I love that there's that variety on here and the silver is really silver. Like, I like that it's a real bright, bold silver. And I'm just gonna add three of them randomly there. And then I thought this card base would look really nice. Now, I made my first card while I was designing this and I used a white base. So I'll show that to you in just a second. You can tell me which one you like better. Okay, here we go. Here is the polished pink. <laughs> I got to get that down, right? And here is the white card base. Which one do you think? I don't know. I almost like this one better because it just is um, very clean and crisp, but I do love the polished pink, so I don't know. But here's a couple. Here's the envelope that I made with this one. Here's the other envelope. See how different they look? It depends on how much baby or um, re inker you put on those baby wipes. Then I wanted to also show you the sneak peek that I promised of our new in colors. So we have the polished pink, the evening evergreen. This is a really deep, rich green. I love it. The fresh freesia. And I thought this color as well as the pale papaya would look pretty together on using the baby wipe technique. And then we've got the soft succulent, which is again, a, a very different green than we've got right now. Okay, and then we also have, of course we have ribbon in all three of these, or all five of these colors. 
We have the new in color jewels and look how spectacular those are. They match these papers. We have markers, ink pads, assorted packs of cardstock. So you get a few of each one of the new in colors in a pack, as well as re inkers. Um, I think there are some new Stampin' Blends, all kinds of goodies with our new in colors. And of course, these are sprinkled throughout our new designer series paper. Remember, that new catalog goes live on Tuesday, May 4th. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you are in the United States, I would love to send you a catalog. It is spectacular. Look at this deliciousness, right? Okay, so this, like I said, is part of a blog hop, you guys. You're going to want to click right up here. That's gonna take you to my blog. Now, if you're doing that right away today on April 30th, you're gonna find it. But if you do it at a later date, there's probably gonna be some other stuff that I've loaded on my blog. So you can scroll down until you see pictures of these cards. Then you're gonna look for um, some little thumbnails so you can join along in the blog hop. We have demonstrators from all over the world that are part of this Totally Techniques design team. You'll definitely wanna check out what they've made. They are incredibly talented. I am very humbled to be among them. Um, you'll also wanna click down here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. One other thing, we've got a catalog kickoff going on with my friends Barb and Dina. The cost for that is $10 or it's free with your basic or premium membership to our Stamp Happy Academy website. If you're not familiar with that, it's a website that is a whole bunch of fun. You want to check that out. Um, there'll be a link below the YouTube video with all of these things in it so you can go check them out. If you'd like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. And of course, you're going to find my blog here or by clicking up here. Please go check out the blog hop. Hop along. Leave a comment on everybody's blog. Let them know what you think of their project. And I hope you'll give this a try because this is easy. And as you can see, it is just very, very pretty. I can't wait to see different color combinations. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend. I will be live Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time on Facebook. You don't want to miss it. Thanks, you guys, for stopping by. Bye-bye.